पार्टी को शक्ति आर्जन की सत्ताक Brilliant over. Outstanding, in fact, from Mohamed Rafiq. Will they give him a third? That's the question. He's got none for five. It's 15 for one. Pawan Deep Singh with that wicket, which is controversial, and Andrew, clearly, you have or you share the same opinion as Asadwala. It's always difficult to tell. I, I just thought that that puff of dust probably indicated the noise might have been him hitting the ground, but Pawan Deep Singh continues with these arm balls. Look at that movement. You think of him as a left arm spinner. He should be turning the ball away from the bat of the right hander. It's doing the opposite. Significant swing and movement in. And again, the arm ball. And Siak has read that. He's finally understood. It's been telegraphed coming into him, so he's decided to step outside his off stump. No man in the deep behind square on the leg side, and a simple boundary to get him up and running. A welcome boundary for PNG out here. Very comfortable and probably pre-meditated as well. No fielder. Importing four runs. A nice stroke from Siaka. He's probably been one of the pick of all the batters you've seen in action over the last four or five days. And just as I say that he's been cleaned up again, it's the lack of turn, it's the angle and the swing in, the arm ball from Poundeep Singh. There's no question mark about this one, it's middle stump, it was there to be hit as well and Siaka has got himself put in all sorts of a tangle, the movements cut him in half and PNG have lost two inside four overs. It was a tail of Yuri Mess I hit. There was to be hit, clearly missed it, and the middle stumps. The dream start this for Malaysia. They're right on top here. It's two wickets. In a matter of moments, both falling to the left arm spinner, or should I say, the left arm in swinger, Poundeep Singh. Siak has gone for six. It's 19 for two. Introducing the Kiwi's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Balla Pechiyo Soon Zastai Tsun Dhunga Khani Best Zahanuni Arukulagi, the best matra uplabda garaudai The best Saurya Cement Tony Ora in at number four. <laughs> Papua New Guinea, who won't have seen much of Malaysia. Remember the first time that these two sides have met in an official T20 international. They need to work out what's going on sooner rather than later. They might have looked at the book and said, OK, Pandeep Singh, he bowls left arm off spin. He hasn't turned a ball yet. They've all swung in. and He's doing a brilliant job for his side. Two important wickets. One of the skipper. And pretty much looks like, it reminds me of rather Daniel Vittori. Gotta love a bespectacled spinner. Nothing better in the game. Yeah, Daniel Vittori, big tall left arm spinner. Very different bowler to Pound Deep Singh, but obviously technically left arm orthodox. Former New Zealand captain. Kiwis had a big win this morning as well. They beat the Netherlands very comfortably by seven wickets down in Monganui in the Cricket World Cup Super League. Over. Malaysia will be looking to join them in the winning column. Four gone, 20 for two. Apollo Paints cook, you know, 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 you know,
The TV is Apache RTR 204V. Introducing the TV is Apache RTR 204V. Engineered to adapt. नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा उदयपुर को चुनढुंगा बाट तैयार कर बेस्ट सौर्य सीमेंट So it's going to be spin now from both ends, and no surprise to see this heavy spin, heavy attack that the Malaysia side possesses. You may see as many as 12 or even 16 overs of spin bold, and Tony Orta greets the off-spinner without even a look by just smashing him into the deep. Gets that one away for a four to welcome the youngster into international cricket, BJ Uni, he's 19 years of age. His first delivery has been smashed for a boundary. Confidently, strike set and strike set with confidence. Oh, yes, boy! Just 19 years of age, one of four young cricketers brought into this Malaysian squad who weren't here 11 months ago, has played for their under 19 side but never represented the side in a full international so proud day for him Tony Ora perhaps recognising he's got to go on the attack against the young debutante just a single out there what an opportunity for the youngster to make an impact PNG in relative comparison to the performance against Nepal They've started quite slow, Andrew. Actually very similar to the Malaysian innings, really, isn't it? That's it. Oh. Mimini's trying to put that right. That's a good stroke. Again, this was the arm ball. No real spin. Just angling in to the left-hander. Going on with the arm. And Amini finally gets off the mark. Eight deliveries prior to that without scoring. He breaks the shackles with a gorgeous shot over extra cover. Beautiful shot earns another boundary of the over. Sure, the senior players in the Malaysian team will probably need to have some conversation with the teenager. Yeah, and also, it's a big thing to ask a young off spinner in particular to come in and bowl in the power play. Surely, you want to give the 19 year old as much protection in the deep as possible. Only two fielders allowed outside the circle at this point. So I'm not sure whether that's the fairest thing for Ahmed Fais to have asked of his 19-year-old. He's going to unfortunately go for three boundaries in his first over. This one a drag down, punished by Tony Ura. 14 runs coming from that first over for him. A bit of misfield out there. Malaysia would not want to have that as this PNG team bats deep. End of the fifth over. PNG 34 runs for the loss of two wickets. Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle. Hero Super Splendor. Rangin manau los afro zindagi Apollo Paints ko saath ma. Hero, hero, super Thank you, Andrew. Sixth over now being bold. 34, 34 for two. Papua New Guinea. Not the kind of start they would have wanted. Chasing this big total of 182. Goes after this, this has gone straight up in the air. Somebody getting underneath it. It's the bowler himself who takes uh, this catch. And that's the third wicket down. So, Malaysia, they've been dominating here. First in batting and now in bowling. So, they have done a good job at home. And how they will be playing against PNG. And uh, PNG will looks to be really a good side. They've been uh, tumbling here. Third wicket down. This is the way. They were just going, trying hard to 
break some shackles couldn't do so got the elevation high too high thank you very much landed safely big big trouble there for papua new guinea they've lost three wickets for 34 run rate just 6.38 charles amini most informed player for Papua New Guinea. Kunei Bani Nanji Ko Store Ma Gaira. Aapalai Man Parne Ram. Thanos. Mero Hero Super Splendor. Nepal Ko Ati Lok Priya Motorcycle. Hero Super Splendor. Nepal Me Naveen Praviti Dwara Utpadit. Jagdamba Super Sign Tata Galva Plus Jasta Papa. He is the older brother, Pawandeep. 3 for 15 of 2.2. A dream spell already. Why this time? So, the luxury of having uh, good quality bowlers is really amusing the captains, the coaches, they can utilize them at any number, at any time. Brilliant delivery again. 3 for 12. This is his best in T20 format, Pawan Dev Singh, and he's already picked up 3 for 16. One more wicket, and this can be his career best here, Rajaj. Yes, he can achieve it. He has got long way in this inning. Sese Bao and Tony Ura. Back it's Tony Ura who's joined in. Sese Bao opens the innings in the ODI format, the longer version. Tony Ura. Yes, he's uh, really in a good form. Can score runs. But at this stage, they need to restrict their wickets. Wickets in hand. He's mixing up the length brilliantly. Young Pondip Singh thinking of coming back for the second. This is what pressure does, isn't it? Yes, it happens. Even that uh, bigger batters, who are the renowned like Master Blaster, they can do mistakes in a really pressure situation. So it's really a high time for these youngsters from both teams. They've been going through such kind of circumstances where they've been earning lots of experience and can do in the future. But uh, Deep Singh, let's, do, let's see what he can do. Guided down, thought for a single for a moment, not to be. That's the end of the sixth over, 36 for three. Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle, Hero Super Splendor. Udaipur ko sundunga bata, tayar kariye ko, the best, Saurya Cement. Nepal mein Naveen Pravidi Dwara Utpadit, Jagdamba Super Sign Tatha Galva Plus Jasta Papa, Jeevan Bhar Ko Bhar Osa. The TV is Apache RTR 204V. The TV is a small patch of woods around TU ground here in Kirtipur. That's our comedy box with the red roof. On your left, beautiful beautiful ground I have my own memories here as well used to play cricket here when I was in my school school day cricket played under 16s as well beautiful memories the most beautiful part of my childhood I'll have to say home of cricket in Nepal it's a dream for all the young cricketers to play in this ground shorter one this time string in length too but lucky did not go all the way Yes, there is no second opinion that when you've been playing at a very childhood and you are into the school, you can go back and tell your mates that I've been playing there at the home of cricket in Nepal, Kathmandu. So childhood friends like, they've been asking you, how was that, how was the place, how was the pitch, who were the cricket lovers, and that will go long down to the wire when you've been retiring after playing 20, 30 years of cricket. So you've been telling people that how I had spent my life. And we had no pitch reporters then, Ajaj. I wish I had you. We, we are just amused and awestruck by this ground. It was a dream and you could brag about, you know, playing in this ground. That's the kind of memories I have here. It's a beautiful ground, no? It's much more developed as well. The building that we're in right now, this commentary box building. It's also newly built. 
seven wickets remaining. Now the net run rate, the, sorry, the required run rate now is already 10.36, which is on the highest side. They've lost three wickets in immense pressure now, Papua New Guinea. A oh, beautiful delivery, yoked him up. Yes. Wakif has sent another batsman back to the pavilion. Malaysia on top right now. Look how happy he is, how happy the whole team is. Brilliant bowling. Yes, excellent Yorker. You know, I was uh, talking a while ago that I hadn't seen the Yorkers here in this tournament. And there you go, the left armor. Beautiful, excellent. Right into the black hole. No answer from the batter. The pace was there, who deceives and go through from the gate, and he's uh, just can watch onto the stumps. Beautiful bowling. Sesebao's poor run in this T20 series continues. The TV is Apache RTR 200 4V. Apollo Paints ko kune kune energy ko store magera. Apollo man pa ne ram. Chanos. Balla bhejiyo. Sun zastai sun dhunga khani. Best zahanu ni arukulagi. The best matra uplabda karao gay. The best. Saudia cement. Twenty-three in the last two overs before Norman Vanua was dismissed. Irfan now giving away only five runs, picking up that one wicket. I think he is a serious threat for both the teams in this tri-series. Automatically pushed back to the back foot, Norman Vanua, the flamboyant right-hander. Opened the bowling for his team today. That's the kind of form he is in, Irfan Wakif. Brilliant spell already. One for six and 2.4. It's a worried side. It's a worried side, the Papua New Guinea team. Mohamed Wakif, the bowler from Malaysia. Really a great prospect and good find of Malaysian under 19 cricket. Slip has been pretty wide at third space. Interesting, isn't it? Probably the captain is anticipating the ball to go across. Norman Vanua and Tony Ura. It's a wide slip. In between the first and the second slip, normally. Yeah, it happens that uh, when your bowler has been bending his back, he's getting lots of bounce from the surface. So you can equip one slip there. Almost into the fourth slip now. Now I think so. That's a pretty good to see him. You can test him. Angling away. Can get something. Stayed and punched on the back foot just with a single. A brilliant over here for Wakif again. Three runs and a wicket. 39 for four, Papua New Guinea in a spot of order. TV is Apache RTR 204V. Nepal mein Naveen Pravidi Dwara Utpadit Jagdamba Super Sign Tatha Galva Plus Jasta Pata. Jeevan Bhar Ko Bharo Sa. Udaipur ko sundhunga baata tayyar kariye ko the best Saurya cement. Apollo Paints ko kunei kunei na jitko store ma gaya ra. Apollo and man par ne ram. Thanos. Introducing the TV is Apache RTR 204V engineered. Good decision, I think, from Captain Emma to continue with his successful baller who has picked up three wickets, Pawandeep Singh. The second best bowling figures for him. Three wickets taken, giving away 17 runs. Can he pick up another and get his career best? Pawandeep Singh came back with the angle. It's a bit of his field but uh, hadn't result resulted in any danger yes you're right but when deep sing and he's to his uh, fourth and last over of his quota and i think so that he should be bowling wicket to wicket because the way he has bowled the previous delivery he has given lots of weight to the batter he's slightly quick through the air so might be hitting on a pad that should be the target here played up 
nearly carried to the fielder and shot mid wicket reason. Not at all what Papua New Guinea wanted. But I think somebody will have to counter attack here. Bagos, forward, Bagos. As you if Papua New Guinea are looking to chase this target or else the required run rate now is already 11.05. They're going under 6 and over. And they cannot Ali, let Ali, the Ali, Malaysian Ali, ballers to get on top of them. Bawandip Singh now 3 for 9, 3 for 20. Balling really well. Ali, this is a tricky Ali, situation, isn't it? You've lost 4 wickets, 4 important crucial wickets. You're in two minds whether to go after the bowling or to just look it off yes and this is a kind of situation that one should be attacking though that they might be losing a couple of wickets here but i think there is no way other than to attack here as a batter side arm this time by Pawandeep Singh white signal by umpire now what do you think Ajaz would be in the mind of PNG whether to Go cautiously about it and make sure that the net run does not dip really low. Oh, this is poor bowling. This will go all the way. Five bonus runs for Papua New Guinea. Now, coming back to the same conversation, Najaj, would they be looking for a win no matter what? Or would they be thinking about the result of the series and who qualifies and look to probably get as close as possible to the target? Yes, so that was off target down to the final leg boundary. Four runs. Well, I think so here, they should be attacking. You know that Australian cricket team, they are great cricketers all the time, playing their natural games, go and attack onto the ballers. So, might be, you can find something way. Because when you're defending here, there's no way. You may be losing a couple of wickets, keep defending yourself. So, I think that batter should be to go and attack on ballers so that uh, they may make mistakes. Good running. Throw is a bit away, off target. So, to my opinion, attack is the best defense here. Can't agree more. I also believe that the best way to defend is to attack. Pawandeep Singh not living up to his standard. He set in the first three overs. Has been expensive in this over. Five wides. 11 runs already of this over. Two more deliveries to go. Fuller one this time. Almost yoked. Norman Vanua. Yes, uh, 50 up. That has been the first thing they will have to do. And now, I think that they've been a little scary. That they have lost four wickets. Fifth and sixth batter is on crease. So that's why they've been not trying to go after the ballers. And I think so that in six deliveries, we did find a couple of bad deliveries. Pierre hammered the baller. Yes. Play on the backward easy. And that's end of Pawandeep's spell. 14 runs off his last over, but a successful spell, you'll have to say. 3 for 30 of Pawandeep and Papua New Guinea are 52 for 4. Epur ko sundunga bata, tayar kariye ko. The best. Saurya Cement. Rangin banaunos afro zindagi, Apollo Paints ko satma. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Nepal mein Naveen Praviti dwara utpadit Jagdamba Super Sign tatha Galva Plus jasta pata. Jeevan bhar ko bharo sa. Mero hero, super splendor. Nepal ko ati lop. Contest here. Will this go through? Down to the tail again, like, like like it did yesterday. Full toss this time, missed it. Sayed on to his first delivery. Tony Ura missing it completely. He's lucky. I think so that he has got a bit of path there. Otherwise, uh, hitting onto the pads in front of the stumps will surely be a big deal for the baller. Sayed as he's coming on really quickly. He has got a good pace. Comes down the track this time was a necessity according to the doctors for Papua New Guinea and they have collected a boundary off the bat. Tony Ura this time came down the track and shows the desperation which is so needed for Papua New Guinea's cause of chasing this target. Over pitching and that's a good thing that he is going to at mid on. He knew that he knew that the fielder is up. He can avail that uh, chance and space to go over the wicket 
So, more boundaries to come. That has been the requirement. Avish this time played on the up and this is a wonderful test match shot. Halfway through the innings almost and Joni Ura has produced a beauty. Excellent drive. This is you call the bookish kind of shot. Have you been staying there? Catch your front foot slightly ahead. Shift of bait onto the bat has been perfect. And execution is right. Going all along the grass and earning four runs. So two boundaries in three deliveries. What is more, they have got in their belt in this over today. Yeah, this time, let's see. Say the G's scored 47 of 26 deliveries. He'll have to do the ball with the job, uh, job with the ball as well. Considered two boundaries. Is this the third one? Yes, this is the third one. Three consecutive boundaries now of Sayyid the G's. This is just the over that Papua New Guinea were looking for. They have to target somebody and they have targeted Sayyid Ajiz. Exactly. They have picked him up. Now we'll have to target someone. Sayyid Ajiz there. Back up length. Enough time to see of that ball. You can trust on the bounce of this surface because this is really even. And uh, look at that one. He has done three boundaries. Very the pace this time. So 13 runs off this over. A good one for Papua New Guinea. And mind you, they came back into the match after losing seven wickets at just 100 yesterday. They can come back. They have a batting lineup that bats deep. So Malaysia cannot afford to be complacent here. Norman Vanua more than capable with the bat. The highest scorer for his team yesterday got a 50 wide. Advantage for Papua New Guinea is that Malaysia has been giving those extra runs when they needed even in the last over for one deep bowled that delivery down the leg side went for five wides well, such and you were asking about uh, the PNG's habit it it becomes the habits of different teams we will speak on that one after this over hint of swing this time the ball went across the batsman and that's the end of the first over of Said Aziz, an expensive one, 14 runs of it, 66 for four. Kapoor ko sundunga baata, tayar kariye ko, the best, Saurya Cement. Nepal mein Naveen Pravidi dwara utpadit, Jagdamba Super Sign to tha Galva Plus jasta paata, jeevan bhar ko bharo sa. The TV is Baje RTR 204 V. The TV. Well then, the run rate has now climbed up to 7.33. It was going at 5.5 at one point of time. Wait, no run, no run. This is what happens in limited overs cricket. You know, you, you need only one or two overs to come back into the match, isn't it? The equation looks so different. It changes so suddenly. If they can build a partnership here, Papua New Guinea batsman. Oh, this is an expansive drive. Open his hands and this has gone miles. This has cleared the pavilion, in fact. And by Devin, this will be the I think we'll have to call for new ball here. What a way to welcome the new baller, Azim. Hello, Azim, says Tony Ura. Yes, uh, that's a really good hit. So I think so that they've been awakened since last couple of overs. No PNG batters that didn't need to accelerate here. That was right in front of him in the slot. And uh, he's just gone aerial and long gone. And look at that, that's a mighty hit on all the way lots of confidence he has earned with that shot kudos to our camera person as well for chasing that massive monstrous hit from tony ura this is one of the biggest sixes i've seen in this ground it's a massive hit you cannot stop talking about this beautiful venue so word Nepal is a country with strong cricketing background. You can come and play in this ground and we assure you we'll fill this whole ground with more than 10,000 spectators. That's the kind of craze we have for cricket in this country. Hey, 
it again. Driven down the ground this time just with a single. Well, it seems pretty young lad falling at uh, this international level. So far, he's been welcomed with a huge six, but this is for him for the first time that he's here at international level. The Malaysian cricket has injected him to go and play big cricket. Oh, yo! Yes, yes, yes! Big move in there, Norman. He'll have to be careful. If there's any, any delivery that comes sharp in, he'll be in trouble. Azim Amir. A wild swing again. It was there in the slot. It was an attempt with a lot of power, but no execution. Yes, Azim coming back in a good way after that big hit. Excellent. Superb over to finish it. Well, this dot delivery 10 gone. PNG 73 for 4. TV is Apache RTR 204V. नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदंबा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा उदयपुर को सुंदरुंगा बाटा तैयार करिए को द बेस्ट सूर्य सीमेंट मेरो हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर मेरो हीरो कति प्यारो और पनी होला रामरो तर पनी मेरे हीरो प्यारो पहाड़ेरा ओहो तर कति सुंदर रामरो बादाबन कति हो कति हो ते सेले हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर नहीं प्यारो हमी माचा हीरो हमी माचा हीरो and in Nepal it's spring but you can expect some unexpected rain and if you're a cricket fan, you do not want it to rain right now because we are in the most interesting part of this innings now. The final chain over is coming up. Well, Sachin, if we are to compare the innings, PNG are in fact ahead of where Malaysia were at the end of 10 overs. Malaysia were 66 runs on the board. Here's the baller's card. Three wickets for Pawan Deep. Mohamed Wafik, the other wicket for him in his three overs. He's got one more over remaining, has been very economical, only seven runs from his three overs. These are only expensive. Similar was the case with Syed Aziz and Amir Azam. Seven runs in his first over. Five ballers used so far by the Malaysian captain. So here the Z is also expensive in this first over. Now it's a tricky situation here for Papua New Guinea. They've done a bit of rebuilding though. This partnership is so very important. No ball, it's a no ball! It's a no ball and it's a crime, especially in the shorter format. A free hit here for Papua New Guinea. And both of these batters, they actually... We've seen Norman Vonua doing his job so very well when required. And Tony Ura has a career best in T20s of a 100 plus score. 107 not out is personal best. So these two batters need to build this partnership. Say that, geez. Comes back really well. This was a free hit, mind you. No harm done eventually. PNG have twice had the opportunity of free hits searching out here, but they've not been able to capitalize on those free hits. 
one of these two for sure will go after the bowling. They have targeted Sayed in the previous over. They will continue with that approach, I believe. Just as I said, smashed, hammered, and a boundary. Over pitch this time from Sayed. He's getting that little bit of swing all right. But the length deserved punishment and put it in style by Tony Ura. A beautiful boundary and much needed one for PNG. The required run rate, despite being of concern, they still have to be very watchful. Just under 11. And that's very achievable in T20 cricket. Now, they build a partnership also. Tony Ura has gone more aggressive after the previous wicket. Much better line. Stump to stump. Sayed doesn't have that extra space. So he'll have to be careful. Give away 14 runs in the previous over, Sayed. Has already given six in the first three. Norman Vanua has been the silent partner. Five of eight delivery is not his brand of cricket. Known for his aggression. The karma batter out here in this partnership, which is very crucial for PNG. Sayed, that is what I was talking about. He's known for that brand of cricket. Didn't time it that well this time. The length was dead there to go across for Norman Vanua. Tony Ura is playing the best knock of the series. Did get a start in the first one days. Since then has been silent. Wonderful stays set for him as well to come and now do it for his team. Open the face of the bleed for a single. In fact, they're coming back for a second. We'll have to hurry, though. To throw might have made the umpire interested. Good running between the wickets as well, Sachin. The partnership now standing at just over 43 runs. PNG were 37 runs for the loss of four wickets. And the way they have came back in this match presents us yet another interesting finish to what has been a beautiful day of T20 International. Down the leg side, flicked well, and flicked for a boundary again. Another boundary to end this over, another expensive one. 13 this time of the second over of Syed. Not happy. The Malaysian captain takes the score of Papua New Guinea to 86. Let's have a look at this again. Straying down. Deserved this punishment from the well said Tony Ura. So that's the end of the 11th over, 86 for 4 RPNG. Alway Naveen Pravidi Dwara Utpadit, Jagdamba Super Science of Galva Plus, Jasta Pata, Jeevan Bharko Barosa. Introducing the TVS Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Udaipur ko chundhunga baata tayyar kariye ko the best. 49 is the partnership now between Norman Vanua and Tony Ura. And only 6 runs in contribution from Norman Vanua. Good line this time by Ahmed. No room given whatsoever out there. Norman Vanua. <laughs> was trying to go for that big one there, such a... The invitation was there. He gave the ball in off flight as well. He wanted Norman to come and smash him towards the leg side. Uh, he's gone this time. You wanted it. I hit it. And the result is on my way, says Norman Manua. <laughs> it was almost directed towards us, such a... A massive hit. He was not happy. He knew that he did not take the middle of his bat. But that's the power of this man, Norman Vanua. He's very strong with his bat flow. Let's have a look at this again. Went massive. It was high and handsome enough. I hope our OV man is injured out there. Goes after it again. I believe it has taken leading edge. But the result is the same. Such is the power of this man, Norman Vanua. Two consecutive sixes now. 
Ball has gone out of the ground. Back to back sixes. Unsettling the bowler out here. Norman Bunwell using all of his experience and just at the right time. The Malaysian keeper cannot believe it. He has the same opinion that did not take the middle of the bat. How has it traveled so far? Is the power young man? Have a look at this. It went massive. It's big. Six runs. Six more runs for Papua New Guinea. They're slowly coming back into the match. Required run rate now 9.96, which is much achievable than 12 runs that was at one point of time. Azim, it'll be interesting to see how he comes back. Beautiful comeback chance of a run out. Should have been a direct hit. And the umpires have been picking their brains. 13 runs of this over. Brilliant cricket from Norman Vanua. That's the experience of this young man, Norman. He's been a performer for his team in the ODIs in the first match as well. Brought his team back to the match yesterday against Nepal. Like it again. Happy to play down the ground. They've collected 14 runs of this over. Papua New Guinea brings 100 for them as well. So this match is now really setting up for a contest. Papua New Guinea, 100 for four. Friends, go to the energy store. I'm going to go to the energy store. The key is Baje RTR 204V. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. So Tony Ura moves on to 47. The partnership 67 already now. 63, I beg your pardon. It's a wonderful partnership. So the younger Singh, Virandip Singh, is now introduced into the attack by Captain Ahmed. This was a round arm delivery by Virandip Singh. They need a silent over here, Malaysia. The momentum now shifting towards Papua New Guinea. Sixth bowler introduced by Malaysia. A massive shot. One more time. It's a six. And there is Tony Ura's half century, the sixth in his T20 international career. What a way to do it. What a way to do it. This experienced lad acknowledges his teammates, acknowledges the crowd. Has been a wonderful innings. 53 of 31. Just what his team needed. This was flighted outside the off stump. And a lofted shot over the extra cover reason for a massive six. Such a beautiful shot to watch inside out. Shows the ability of the batsman too. But he has his work only half done here. He'll have to stay there till the end of this match and take his home, take his team home. PNG relatively ahead in comparison to Malaysia at the same time in the innings however having lost two more wickets they should be cautious out here playing very well this pair Norman and Tony Ura Virandip Singh Praramba is giving that room to Tony Ura which can be really dangerous this was short wide lucky that went to the again this time Tony Ura is lucky Ball did not crash onto his stumps but the length is there is inviting the batsman to go after him. He's giving that room as well, which is more dangerous. Only five wickets so far for Virandip in 25 T20 innings. Brilliant cricket from both Norman and Tony Ura. Taking calculated risk in every over and then following it up with singles and doubles it's not only about hitting cricket there's a bit more to just batting and bowling to cricket it's using your sense again almost a replay of the third ball of this innings and they've come back with the second run it's a wonderful over already for Papua New Guinea 
11 runs from it so far. A bit of luck going their way as well. Malaysia probably will need the skipper and the senior players in the score talk to this young baller. Nepal mein Naveen Pravidi dwara utpadit Jagdamba Super Sign tatha Galva Plus jasta pata. Jeevan bhar ko bharo sa. Udaipur ko chundhunga baata tayyar kariye ko. The best. Saurya Cement. Mero hero super splendor. Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle. Hero super splendor. Rangin Banaun Hoos Aafno Zindagi Apollo Paints Ko Saath Ma Mero Hero Super Splendor Nepal Ko Ati Lok Priya Motorcycle Hero Super Splendor Into the 14th over, PNG looking very comfortable now The ball was there to be hit But finds the filter is this the breakthrough? Is this the breakthrough? It's the experienced man, Dodi Ura, who's now just Mr. 56. He's got it with himself. Sarveen has taken the fifth wicket for his team. Let's have a look at this. It is a full toss, all right. But could not clear the fielder at long off reason. To not find the meat of the bat. It was the toe end. And that was probably the reason. Otherwise, we've known and seen Tony Ora smashing those massive sixes. Now, I know Hafiz in jubilation celebrates. It's not celebration time at all for Tony Ura and PNG, though. Dismissed for 56. 1 1 1 for 5. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Nepal mein Naveen Pravidi dwara utpadit Jagdamba Super Sign tatha Galva Plus jasta pata Jeevan bhar ko bharo sa Mero hero Super Splendor Nepal mein Talk about superstitions and a wicket has fallen at Nelson 1-1-1 considered unlucky in cricket Probably The Nelson strikes and Sharvin picks wicket off his first delivery in the match. Sharvin Munyanti, 26 years of age, brings Malaysia right back in the match. It's a wide. A wicket and a wide. Not the best way to follow your wicket. Under 12 now, and you talk about Nelson and losing wickets. It's considered to be unlucky in cricket. Superstition and, and however modern or, or scientific your, your thought process may be, as a batter, you always, as a cricketer, you always think about the superstitions as well, isn't it? Indeed, and that was looked very close, but Durga Natsuvedi fished outside leg. And with a smile, nods, it's not out. Easy decision here for Durga Natsuvedi. It was an optimistic appeal. It would have missed the leg stump with ease. Let's have a look at this. Probably it was pitching outside the line of leg stump. That's what saved the new man in. Killer, Jason Killer. I need to drive it down the ground. This is a wonderful over. Three wickets, one run, one wicket. Applied the break, but most importantly... Dismiss Tony Ura, the settled man. A good over show so far by Sharvin. Malaysia, after breaking this partnership, would want to pile more pressure on PNG. Brilliant bowling again. It was there to drive, but somehow Jason Killer could not connect it. He's taken three balls already. But the required run rate now moves up again. PNG requiring 69 runs from 38 balls. They cannot afford to lose another wicket out here. Norman Vanua will be the key problem. 
What a cricketer. He likes staying at the middle, doesn't throw away his wicket. Norman Vanua has been in form almost throughout the tour. Batting at 21 or 15, open the bowling for his team. That kind of cricketer, he is an asset to his captain. Somebody you would love to have in your team. He's facing Sharvin, who has been successful in this over. Give away just two runs in his five deliveries. Can he finish it off well? Yes, he does. No run again. Wonderful over this from Malaysia. Two runs off it. And after 14, 1-1-3 one, one, for 5, Papua New Guinea. Udaipur ko sundunga bata tayyar kariye ko. The best. Saurya Cement. Nepal mein Navin Pravidi dwara utpadit Jagdamba Super Sign tatha Galva Plus jasta pata. Jeevan bhar ko bharo sa. The TV is Apache RTR 204 V. The TV is Apache RTR 204 V. Nepal mein Navin Pravidi dwara utpadit Jagdamba Super Sign tatha Galva Plus jasta pata. Jeevan bhar ko bharo sa. Sixty-eight runs needed in thirty-six deliveries. Close to twelve and over now. Not impossible, mind you, and especially in this form of cricket. But what PNG will require is the remaining five to perform. Comes down the ground, but it will just be a single. Jason Keeler will have to be patient out here and support Norman because we've seen Norman do the damage yesterday against Nepal. Comes fresh with a half century, fifty-two runs. He scored in that match and almost took away the match from Nepal. It's very handy, very useful. Pirandip Singh. Wide again this time, slaps it down the ground. Does he have enough? Yes, in fact, more than enough. Norman Vanua may well go up to the umpire and say, Do I just get six runs with this shot? I want more. Despite having lost five wickets, PNG still can reach the target, and we've seen how deep they bat. But they need this man to continue, though, Norman. It's never easy if you keep losing regular wickets. They need a little cameo from Killer as well. Kirindip Singh has been on the expensive side. Eight, uh, sorry, 18 runs in his nine deliveries so far. He's on to his second over. This match looks like it's going to the wire. Oh, this is a short delivery attempted. And the result is the same. Umpire Devinder Subhiti. In fact, Binay Kumar Chah will have to stretch his hands towards the sky again. Two consecutive sixes. And we had some Barcelona fan out there. Probably missing Leo Messi. Nobody attempted. Some, one of you should have. And this match, evenly poised. I, I'd want to say one wicket or two from here will bring Malaysia back into the game. But this is Norman Vanua who looks in great form. Back to back sixes, bringing that required run rate down and a smartly taken couple. Wonderful batting, wonderful presence of mind. It's not about all sixes and boundaries. 15 runs already off the second over of Virandip Singh. Yes, and round arm action, Virandip Singh. Shorter one this time. And that's the end of another expensive over from Virandip Singh. 15 runs off it, 128 for five. So this is the batting guard so far for Papua New Guinea, 128 for 5. They're still in course of chasing this target. 35 of 20 for Norman Vanua, I think will matter the most in this run chase. 
and to take you till the end of this innings, we have a change in commentary. Ajaz will be joined by Andrew Leonard. Thank you very much. LD bowling card for Malaysia. This has gone high, too high. And uh, fielders can only watch it. Yeah, into the hands. There was uh, too much elevation, but he kept his eye on, eyes on to the ball. And uh, certainly comfortable taking. So, Andrew, your presence here got a partnership breakthrough. <laughs> Yeah, brought about the end of Jason Keeler and disappointment for him. He never could quite get going. He's had all sorts of problems with his bowling, sadly, which is barely being used. It was the right idea, the right shot, but just went a little too high into the air. First, you might have thought it was going to go all the way, but pretty simple catch held in the end. And Keeler is going to have a day to forget for him. He's been dismissed. Malaysia, they creep even closer to what would be a historic win. It's one, two, eight for six. Rangin Manolos Afro Zimbagi, Apollo Pains Kosafa. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Balla Petiu Sunza Stay Sundunga Kani Best Sahanuni Arukulagi, the best matra uplabda garalde. The best Saurya Cement. Sharvin Muniandi was always going to play a critical role in this game, but so was Norman Vanua, and that's the first boundary dispatched of Money Andy in his second over. He had two for two. Vanua is going to continue to stand and deliver, but he's almost going to have to do it single-handedly. It's the Storm and Norman show in Kathmandu. So let's see if you can do it tonight, Norman, because uh, they need a quick partnership. We have seen in the past that lots of T20 versions have been uh, going like chasing very close. So Mark Pete will be having another one. Down the ground again. Hasn't come out of the middle, but he's got enough of it to go for four more. That long on fielder, very square. He's got to be straighter. Back-to-back -back boundaries from Vanua and Papua New Guinea strike back despite that wicket off the first ball of the over. Stand and deliver. Slightly backing away. Look at that, hammering it for the bowler set. Quite straight enough in a flag zone to the ball, crossing the long on fence. Go run. So something is coming for PNG here. They are trying to break the gap of, uh, of balls and runs left. Inside edge, Fortune this time. Soper and Vanua combined very effectively to help get Papua New Guinea over the line to seal that 2 0 series victory, that historic series victory just a few days ago. How brilliant a tour is he having? Scores of 18, 47, 11, 52, and now 44, not out with the bat for Norman Vanua to go alongside six wickets. And Soper will get off the mark into the leg side. And really good batting from Norman Vanua throughout. He's an out and out all rounder these days. And good to see him up the order, promoted up to number six today. Yes, and let's see that, uh, how he will be doing the things in the centre. The business stays on for him. And both sides, they will evenly balance. And I think so, that here, 44 in 26, is uh, pretty decent achievable in T20. Particularly if Anua keeps going. Technically a drop catch that from Money Andy. But really... He's probably earned himself a Christmas card from the umpire, Durga Subedi. He saved his life, but it catapulted into his midriff. 16 gun, 139 for six. Udaipur ko tsundunga bata, tayar kariye ko. The best, Saurya Cement. Apollo Paints ko kunai bani na jiko store ma gaira. Apollo Aiman par me ram, chanos. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt.
उदयपुर को सुनडूंगा बाट तैयार करिए बेस्ट सौर्य सीमेंट रंगीन बना जिंदगी अपोलो पेंट्स को साथ में yet again feels like every time you come here to Kathmandu to this fantastic ground the TU International Cricket Ground at Kurdapur you get thrillers it's been your first taste of it in person how good is it Ijaz Ahmed extremely well that i can say like 100 out of 100 for everything here big over this one under edge i believe given out after a pause he had a long hard think about it I'm pretty sure Norman Vanua has underedged this just a feather there was an audible nick even up here in the commentary box and that as I said was always going to be a big over the return of Mohammad Wafiq has got the big fish it's got Norman Vanua yes excellent time to get a wicket underedge yes the balls and wicket keeper stayed away asking the questions in a fight slight bit of hesitation I think so he took his time I think for me that's a good decision though there's no problem I prefer an umpire taking his time and getting the decision right than doing something impulsively and getting it wrong Vanua he's dismissed for a brilliant 45 it came off 25 balls it's 139 for 7 Apollo Paints ko kune bine na ji ko store wagaira aapko lang man karne ram thanos the TV is Bajaj RTR 200 4V नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्बा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा इंट्रोड्यूसिंग द टीवी इज पाच ए आर टी आर टू हंड्रेड फोर वी इंजीनियर्ड टू अडेप्ट सुन जस्त सुन ढुंगा खानी बेस्ट चाहन होने को लगी the best matra uplabdha karaudai number 9 have we just seen the game swing malaysia's way though norman vanua he's been carrying his side almost on his broad shoulders solely to rate this tour 45 off 25 dismissed a highly impressive left armer mahmud wafiq You think there's not talent going round associate cricket? You are incredibly wrong. Look at this left armer. Look at the hitting of Norman Vanua. The brilliance of the fielding of CJ Amini. And all of those Nepali young superstars. There's great talent emerging from all over the four corners of the globe. slashed away there's a man out there he's placed for exactly that shot brilliant tactics brilliant bowling and a brilliant catch malaysia squeeze closer it's thanks to their skipper ahmed faiz that was clearly a tactic well full and wide get someone to go on the cut and maria has taken the bait brilliance from malaysia goodness me that was uh, smartly back up lane what was there and he has fished in and the fielder was there the captain himself what a catch and on sing there beauty this is time to celebrate really i uh, love that i think there was that the sumo dance coming out from Ahmed Faiz he goes 1 2 3 into momentum rolls it away he's delighted he knows his side are on the brink maria has gone for a duck 139 for 8 और फ्रेंड्स को कुने कुने नजदीक को स्टोर वगैरह आप लोग मन करने रहा छानो मेरो हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर नेपाल को अति लोकप्रिय मोटरसाइकिल हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा Malaysia right on the brink of a historic victory. It to be fair to say this may well be the biggest win in their history if they can turn over Papua New Guinea. They came so close to beating the Netherlands in the Tri-Nation series at this very ground 11 months ago. It was April last year we were here for the return of international cricket. They could only achieve a tie that day and there wasn't the time for the super over to give them a chance at the win. But surely from here two good deliveries and they'll get it done. Yes exactly you're right. Another wicket. 
and then uh, the things will be wrapped up. And I think so. The two wickets set in this over has really turned the momentum to Malaysia's favour, and they deserve this victory here. You do have the benefit, Papua New Guinea, of Simon Atai all the way down <laughs> at number ten, the keeper. There's no mug with the bat at all, but the problem is it's over two a ball required, so there's no real time to get himself in. They're going to get overthrows here, so they will get that two that they need off that ball. They need that every ball, though. Yeah, something will have to come and place a big inning, which has been required here. I think 41 in 20 deliveries. Really been a massive call now for PNG. Though we had seen that they have done well in ODI games, but uh, it's totally a different situation today. They have got only two wickets in hand. It's gone too much easy. They have got fine leg up, square leg in 30 yards, so anything down the leg side, dragging down, flake, virtually on runs. And that's exactly where he goes. That's brilliant batting. It was too choreographed for Mohamed Wafiq. It was always going to be the Yorker around the off-stump line. A tie read it brilliantly. Don't take away from how good a spell that is, though. Three for 14 for Mohamed Wafiq. Could it be a game-winning one? One for six for eight after 17. Here's the replay. Getting down low onto his knee. Just ramping it away. 18 deliveries remain. 35 to win. So Sherwin Money Andy will bowl overs 18 and 20. The death specialist mix up. They were considering the overthrow. And they won't get there. The tie really wanted it, but I think probably wisely so percent him back. Yes, exactly. Well, I think so that here. They can only try now for the big ones. Like use long handle, try to go somewhere that cheeky, down to the final leg, might be third man. So they need to pick up shorter boundaries now. What they've been discussing here, that who is going after the baller now. Don't like Papua New Guinea off yet. You can see the look in the eyes of Simon Atai there. He knows how big an opportunity this is for him personally. I don't think you'll want to be all the way down at number 10. Very, very rare in the modern day and age you see a keeper selected just to keep and bat at number 10. That's because of the number of all-rounders that Papua New Guinea have, the likes of Vanua and Soper and Amini. And he looks like a man of the mission to me. Is Simon Atai going to play the best innings of his international career? He's got the chance to do it. He moves to double figures. The game swings again. Yes, yeah, good hit. Level toss. Sight early. And uh, see it off quite generously and nicely. He has timed it to the perfection of what the bowler said. In any full runs. Yes, exactly. They are trying to go after this bowler, Sherwin. And let's see. A couple of more boundaries like this. He's, uh, he's gone straight over the bowler's head, into the gap. Good hit. And again, this one's going to go all the way, I think. Surely over the head of the mid-on fielder. Big cheers for the PNG bench. Simon Atai, look in his eyes. He's got the eye of a tiger. He just looks like a man on a mission. What a knock this is. Four deliveries, 16. It's a strike rate of 400. All of a sudden, it's 24 off 15. Exactly, 11 runs in three deliveries, and he's picking Sherwin up here. Look at his eyes, it's all in the eyes, that's a great strike. Held his shape, got it well wide and over the head of Long on, pressure on Money Andy. 10 runs from just two deliveries. Oh, good batting, Simon Atai, held his nerve. You could see he almost considered the big hit, didn't he? And then he said, hold on, we only need just over a run of ball now. A single's okay. Yes, exactly. Good thinking. His bat, was, his bat was having a big swing. Checked at the very last moment. I should be going with a single. Really impressive batting. 12 runs in full delivery. The silver quarter has been achieved. So now he should be allowing Sopa to stay there. Might be the super can try here. Uh, 
Good batting, Chad Soper, and you, you couldn't ask or want for a better foil from a man who's on a mission like Simon Atoy than Chad Soper with you. All the experience, the wise head, very capable batter. He's not too flashy. He's not going to hit too many big bombs, but he'll just knock it around. If he needs to get 14 off 12 deliveries while Atoy does the work at the far end, that's exactly what he'll do. And all of a sudden, maybe PNG are sensing of a heist, an upset victory, an upset chase. Oh, it's gone into the sky. Has he given it away? Simon Atai, surely not. It's been held on to. And Malaysia creep ever closer. It wasn't needed. It was 13 off the over. And Atai's look for one more big hit. Maybe the adrenaline just got to him. That's a very good catch off his own bowling. Sharvin Money Andy. Yes, it went high. And uh, Atai was happy. He was smiling that what I have done here. Going cross. Went too high, and Bowler has done an extremely good job running and coming at a need of the ball and taking a riff up. Good one. Yeah, it's a really good catch. And it looked a bit easier on the replay, but that was not easy. It was swirling. It went a long way up, and Money Andy knows how important that is. What a cameo that was from Simon Atai. He's gone for 15 from just six deliveries. 157 for nine. Saudi Cement. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. .NET T20 Tri Nation Series powered by Daffa News. It's been a thriller. And Luciana Pacana comes in down at number 11. And he's going to get a couple of runs to get off the mark, but Papua New Guinea have only one wicket in hand. They may only need 22 more runs. But one mistake, one good delivery, and it's all over. And wait till you see these Malaysian celebrations if they can get over the line. I think that uh, slower one, if uh, say that this can deliver here, because uh, the batters might be looking after for the backup line deliveries. Can roll his fingers over. Oh, so nearly bowled him. How's that missed? And Pakana needs to get back. What's he doing? Could have been stumped then, just lazily dangling his bat to get back You've one job Nassiana Pakana get bat on ball and get Chad Soper on strike and that's what Soper is telling him right now what are you doing get me down the far end give me a chance to win our side the game yes exactly I think so he's uh, going nearby and exactly transferred the boards like this and I think so that uh, Soper should be there trying to get a big one the way that uh, the time has been very limited for them, they will have to approach to the destination in a very short of time. Just one wicket away, Malaysia. You've done your job. That's all you needed to do, Pakana. And you've listened to your partner, your more experienced partner. Now, these three balls, these are the ones. Soper has to look at Aziz, who's bowling military medium very very hittable and he's got to say I need 19 off 9 I probably need a 6 and a 4 or maybe 2 sixes from these 3 deliveries and if I was him I'd even turn down the single he didn't turn down the single yesterday he's only got the number 11 at the far end take this game on yourself Chad Soper go straight down the ground so we're going to miss well bowled hidden away well the baller is reading the batter and I think so that's perfect execution of the delivery. Just getting away from the batter. I think so he's trying to cut it late. Somebody trying to play at a backward point. Ball was too wide towards offside. Another option for Soper here with the pace of his ease. Maybe to give him the charge. He certainly needs to look straight. It's the area to target here. Not across the line, Chad Soper goes straight. That's where you get reward for your maximums. Big swing and a miss. 
Need something very special from here. 19 off seven now. So I don't know that. Will he go for a single? Or for a big one? I think so. The big one should be there. Trying to reach that gap. So far he's on four. A big hit. Big hit. Six is required. And the last ball of this 19th over. I think he'll end up just taking the single here. He's going to get a boundary, in fact. He's gone wide enough of the mid-on fielder. Here in Deep Singh to run away for four. Not sure whether it's over once that. It's going to be 15 off the final over. It's a tall task. 166 for nine. Here's a look at the replay. Looked for the block hole and squirted it away. Why the desperate dive and he's ended up just losing his pants for a moment. Just as well we've got about 150 spectators in and not five or six thousand today. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V engineered to adapt. Nepal में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदंबा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा। Malaysia have remaining up their sleeve in the deck of cards of their bowlers. Have a look at this dive. What's happened here? Viren Deep Singh it was always going for four. What are you doing? Oh, there they go. Out come just as well. We went out of focus for a second there. Back live with you now. Big swing and a miss from Pakana. And I think that's gone. I think this is out. Given not out. Wait till you see the replay of this. Nasiana Pakana, a few moments ago, forgot to get back in. It was nearly stumped. This might well have been the first stumping off Sharvin Muniani's bowling. Given not out. Look at the replay. It's a good presence of mine in wicket keeper. He has done his job, but uh, Ampire has got a different thoughts. Look at this. This would have been sent upstairs if we had the third umpire facility, certainly. Oh! Very, very, very close. Would have been one of those ones on the frame. Chad Soper frustrated at the non-striker's end again. But kind of gets something on it. Gets Soper on strike. He's heaved it into the sky. I think he's given it away here. Long on's going to come in. Nestle under it. Take the catch and balance over. It's gone all the way for six. Would you believe it? Viren Deep Singh, your momentum has carried you over the rope. You should have taken the catch. Instead, Pakan has got a maximum. PNG still alive. Oh, God. What a time. He is staying there. Couldn't, I think he couldn't do his balance right. Should have been thrown back into the playing area. There you go. Go, go, going, going and touching. Oh, God. The issue was he never stepped down to see where his feet were. So he never got his feet set. He was in the air for so long, he should have. Six runs back live with you now. Another big hit down the ground, Pakana. Yeah! It's gone this time. Yeah! And redemption for Virendeep Singh. And a historic victory for Malaysia. Look at the joy here. 11 months out of the game, 11 months out of international cricket. Chad Soper says, hard luck, Nasayana. He looked for the back-to-back -back sixes this time. It was a bit straighter. The nerves that Singh would have been experiencing here. It was only inches inside the rope. And look at the joy. Every one of these Malaysian players knows how big a victory that is by eight runs. Maybe the biggest in their history. Well played, the men from Malaysia. Exactly. I was thinking that the fielder should have been thinking again. No, I mean, in the playing area or not. But what a fight. PNG, well done. You did well. You fought hard. But Malaysia go over the line well done bowlers we have done it today the batters first they have done a good job for malaysia and now the bowlers they held their nerves in a very tough time but you have to give credit to the png they played superb cricket but unlucky they couldn't go through they were very near going very far brilliant game of cricket highly entertaining again if that goes for six the whole game is wide open it would have been just three more to win from the remaining three deliveries. That's the small margins that our game is played in. Inches, quite literally inches. The ball before it went for six. Singh carried it over the rope. This time he clung on just inches inside the rope. 
Not good enough, though, from the PNG top order. Siaka, Vala, Amini and Bao all dismissed for low scores. Tony Ora made a very impressive T20I half-century coming off just 35 deliveries, that 56. And again, Stormin Norman Vanua has been the standout player here in Kathmandu since we've got both of these series going. But the hero with the ball... Well, it's actually two heroes, really. Charvin Moniandi and Mohamed Wafik. Outstanding. Four for 32 for Moniandi. Three for 14, though, for Wafik. And three wickets, too, for Pawandeep Singh. What a victory. What a moment for Malaysian cricket. Yes, sir. Uh, they will go a long way. But in Deep Singh, scoring 59. Hamad Fez, the captain's knock. Both of the, that is the partnership that has led Malaysia to this uh, target. And in reply... That uh, PNG just shot enough with eight runs. A gem of a game showing just how alive this tri series is. Yesterday, you felt that it was maybe Nepal's game to lose until Vanua was dismissed. And today, again, when Vanua went, you felt that surely Malaysia would close it out. But a late twist in the tail, a six from the number 11 from Big Nasayana Fakana very nearly got them close. If the next one had gone for six, maybe they'd have taken a win. It's left this skyexchange.net T20 Tri Nation series powered by Daffa News. It's left it wide open. Yes, exactly. Loved every moment here. Malaysia, PNG. We did witness that, the beautiful game of cricket today again. And this series here at uh, Nepal, I think that ODI, the T20, they are really on their top. This will really go a long way for Nepal cricket, that the spectators watching back at home, they came here, they really loved every moment, and all the games are going down to the wire. Yeah, let's hope we've got five more matches like that. Everyone watching around the world, and well, here in Nepal, on Kantapur HD TV Live. It's been brilliant to bring these pictures. Let's take a look back at this second innings in the chase. We'll start out with the fours, the boundaries from Papua New Guinea. Fours, brought to you by... TVS Apache RTR 204V Racing DNA on list. So plenty of action from the PNG batters. It was an innings really built around an excellent 56 from Tony Ura. Seven fours he hit. He hit the ball all the way around the ground through the offside and also through the leg side where he's very strong. Yes, exactly. Now lots of time when PNG was sacking up and they were really paving their way towards victory and Malaysian ballers they were really trying hard to get breakthroughs but beautifully beautiful boundaries for the witness here there's plenty of big hits as well we'll see the sixes shortly but there's some classical strict cricket strokes too like that one and the swivel pull played nicely by Tony Orta nice to see him back in form using this new role down at number four it was a bizarre field that Malaysia had set there. No extra cover, which were capitalised on. And went to what was a highly impressive innings. 56 for him, 32-year-old, making his third T20 I-50. And then later in the innings, we saw just a few flourishes from Simon and Ty. Really good little cameo, this, wasn't it? The ramp shot came out. Just wonder if he could look back on the innings. Would he even maybe not gone for the big shot off the final ball he's dismissed if he could have just worked it for a single and that's the last four that was hit worked into the leg side by Chad Soper Fours brought to you by TVS Apache RTR 204V Racing DNA on list yeah, plenty of fours in the innings, but there was a large number of sixes hit. And there's something about this ground here, <laughs> the TU International Cricket Ground. It's the short boundaries, maybe the factor with that elevation as well, about 1,400 metres above sea level in the beautiful valley of Kathmandu. We're up in Kurdapur, and plenty of sixes were hit. And when we get to the highlights of these, you're going to see more and more coming from big Stormen, Norman, Vanua. Let's take a look. This is brought to you by... Jogdamba Super Sign, Tata Jogdamba Gyalma Plus Josta Pata. Nine sixes in total in the innings. First one, a free flourish of the bat from Tony Ora down the ground. That was huge. That was over the pavilion. Repeated the dose then off the young left arm spinner, having his first ball in international cricket. That one nearly hit the Canta 4 TV. Truck, just as well. There was no damage done then. Big hit into the leg side that time. What about Norman Vanua? There's probably no one in associate cricket who hits a bigger ball than him. 
Yes, we have seen him hitting across the many mile sixes. Beautiful. And again, Rob catches in spectators. We have seen the left hander playing some marvelous hits. That was Simon Atai over the long run, and then this was the big moment. Rosiana Pakana should have been caught, but Virendeep Singh just overbalanced over the rope, and that gave PNG late hope. Sixes brought to you by Jagdamba. Shali Hongsi Cement. Aba Tirpanna Great Sahit. Hongsi Cement. KNP Aba KNP Nerolak. A subsidiary of Kansai Paints Japan. आर्थिक स्वतंत्रता र महिला सशक्तिकरण को लागी एउटा उत्कृष्ट उपहार जसले महिलाहरूलाई आफ्नो जीवन स्वतन्त्र रूपमा बाँच्ने आधार दिन्छ मेरे श्रीमान ने मलाई ग्लोबल आईएमई बैंक को मेरी उनीलाई मुद्दती खाता खोल दिन भाई क्या? मेरी उनीलाई मुद्दती खाता। ग्लोबल आईएमई बैंक सबै कलाकी बैंक। आयो नया काम सुपर एग्जाम मारु पच्चीस माह। राष्ट्र <laughs> स्प्राइट संग जितने मौका अब हर एक घंटा हर एक हफ्ता हम जानकारी लेवल में शक्तिशाली होंगी सीमेंट अब तिरपन ग्रेड सहित होंगी सीमेंट आज को जमाना को भर पर दो पाई सब ठीक ठाक मस्ती हमी में सद रही रहे हम चुलबुलेपन में फैंटा संग हम कलरफुल हम सब तीर हाँसो छर्न चाहते हमी कलरफुल काम कर कलरफुल खाशो कलरफुल पिंसो हमी सब मस्ती का रंग छरी रहने प्रतियोगिता यही चैत्र सोलह गते देखि उन्नाइस गते समय फ्रिकुटी मंडप अवश्य शक्तिशाली होंगी सीमेंट अब त्रिपन्न ग्रेड सहित होंगी सीमेंट Don't worry, ignore it. Sanu dental problems like any, ignore hoyna. Tada raknos. 
डाबर रेड पेस्ट ले सात डेंटल प्रॉब्लम्स संग लड़ने को लागे डाबर रेड पेस्ट प्रॉब्लम्स रिलैक्सर को सोटाड़ा टाइम चेक ब्रॉक टू यू बाय सर्वोत्तम स्टील जॉय पपयासन जॉय ब्यूटीफुल बाय नेचर माचा पुष्पे एंड आईबीपीवीपी कैंडिडेट स्कूल कुसुंती ललितपुर नेपाल को सर्वाधिक लोकप्रिय सिपवेसी पाइप्स एंड फिटिंग्स राष्ट्र कुशान किसान द पाइप को परिवार लाइट जंगी रोमले रेबाचा सुरक्षित रखने होस गुड नाइट पावर एक्टिव प्लस कांतिपुर इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज धापाके ललितपुर मेडिकल प्रवेश